We've been talking about it here in the studio, all around the newsroom. Commander's owner Dan Snyder in the news again. Yeah, and this time, a new ESPN report claims Snyder fraudulently secured a $55 million loan and used team funds for personal use. J.P. Finley joins us live from the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. And hey, J.P., you spoke with the reporter who broke this story today. What more can you tell us? Leon, you know what's remarkable is I've come to Indy a number of years for the scouting combine, and this event is about draft picks and free agency deals that will be worked out over the next two weeks. This event is very much about football. Unless you're talking about the commanders. Don Van Natta is the ESPN reporter that broke the news this morning about the alleged financial fraud, $55 million personal loan that his minority business partners at the time were unaware of. This is a major allegation, and for Van Natta, something he's been working on for some time. Well, I started investigating this last November when we reported first on ESPN that there was a criminal investigation going on in the Eastern District of Virginia looking into the commanders and financial misconduct, alleged financial misconduct. And in the course of that, I found out about this $55 million credit line that Dan Snyder kept from his three business partners. It was a, basically a secret loan that he took out that they didn't find out for in about 16 months. And when they did discover it, they confronted Snyder about it. Uh, and uh, within a couple of months, he was actually, uh, Snyder kicked the three partners off the board. And uh, we now know that the circumstances surrounding that loan are being investigated uh, by prosecutors in the Eastern District of Virginia. The news of the Department of Justice, the Eastern District of Virginia, like you mentioned, investigating the commanders, that came out on November 2nd. Hours later, on November 2nd, the commanders announced that they were looking to possibly sell the organization. Besides the coincidental timing, I think another factor in Snyder's decision to put the team up for sale is the amount of debt that the team is carrying. Uh, I understand it to be uh, potentially more than a billion dollars, and the debt service, the interest payments on that amount is quite a bit. And one of the things our story goes into is allegations by the former partners that Snyder was allegedly using the commanders as his personal piggy bank and that the team had all sorts of cash flow issues, which is why he sought out this $55 million credit line in December of 2018 from Bank of America. So the timing is very coincidental, I agree, but uh, I think another factor is the debt that Snyder is carrying right now with the commanders. Debt, not good. How about the personal piggy bank? There are allegations in that story that Snyder charged the commanders four and a half million dollars for what? To put the team's logo on his private jet. As if that's not enough, there's also allegations that NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell was party to the loan documents. There's going to be a lot more to come from this story, Leon. Well, that paint was expensive, JP. That's what that's all about, you know? <laughs> sure. Sure was. Every Certainly. Time, every time you think they hit rock bottom, they go and buy a new, a new jackhammer. All right. <laughs> the worst the worst part, Leon, last week they had all the excitement from Eric Bieniemy, and mm -hmm. it's gone. Yeah, just like that. 